Are you thriving or just surviving? I have found through my studies that it's important that you, to thrive, you be consistent. And to be consistent means that you develop some daily disciplines day in and day out to help you thrive. Because I believe we all want to thrive, not just survive. So in this video, I will share eight keys to help you thrive and not just survive. Hi, this is Coach Jim Johnson, and I'm excited to share these keys to help you become a thriver not just a survivor. I would like to give you eight important points to help you thrive because we all want to thrive. We don't want to just survive, right? So the first point is, I'll start with insanity. And the definition of sanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. In other words, do you embrace change? Are you willing to make changes to thrive instead of just survive? really important to focus on that you're willing to embrace change and not do the same thing over and over again if you're not thriving. The second key if you're going to thrive is are you a positive thinker? Now I'm not one of these people who think everything's going to be great because you think positively but I do know this you'll have more success and you'll thrive more if you think positively as opposed to thinking negative all the time. So really encourage yourself to be a positive thinker a majority of the time. It will help you thrive. Third point I want to share with you is are you aware of your vocabulary? In other words, your words. How are you sharing things? Are you looking at everything as a problem or is it a challenge or is it an opportunity? So be careful of the words you use because to be a thriver instead of just a survivor, you've got to use words that encourage you and make you want to thrive. My fourth key to thriving is, are you making and keeping promises with yourself? And here's the essence of this. Number one, you'll feel better about yourself if you share a promise and then follow through with it. And also a key to thriving is having positive relationships. And to have a great relationship with others, if you make a promise with them and break that promise, that will really hurt that relationship. And then you'll be a survivor, not a thriver. So make sure that you make and keep promises with yourself and others that will help you thrive. Key number five is thrivers are always checking their attitude. One of my favorite attitude quotes is this, attitudes are contagious, is yours worth catching? Thrivers' attitudes are worth catching. Key number six to thriving is one that I believe we all should have, but I'm not sure we all do, and that is the, do you have an outstanding work ethic? See, people that thrive work hard. People that just barely survive don't work so hard. So don't kid yourself. Are you working hard? Do you deserve to thrive? Work ethic is important. My seventh idea to thrive is success leaves clues. And what I mean by that is are you out searching for ways on how you can be successful? Are you searching for ways how you can continually improve yourself? Because people that thrive are always seeking to get better and success does leave clues. Go out and find them. And my final key to thrive, key number eight, is this. Give back to others. Find ways to consistently add value to others. That's what thrivers do. They're always thinking, how can I help people become better? 
How can I add value to others? Great questions you ask yourself and go and follow through and help support and add value to others. I believe with these eight keys that I shared with you that you can be a thriver, not just a survivor. See, I believe everybody was put on this earth for a purpose and you gotta find your mission, discover it, and then use these eight keys to go out and be the best you can be to thrive in this world and help make the world a better place. Thank you. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if my team or myself can ever help you, reach out to my website, coachjimjohnson.com. We're here for you. Thank you.